Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Continuing on in our series of uh, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah's treatise Qaida fi Muhabba, you know, the treaties in which Shaykh al-Islam spoke about the ways, the, the signs of the servant's love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah bless us to be of those who love him. One of the ways the Shaykh mentioned, Shaykh Islam, Imam, Shaykh Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala, mentioned uh, that is a sign of a servant's love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He mentioned to love his speech. If you want to know what your heart contains of love of Allah, then look at the love of the Qur'an in your heart. It is well known that if you love someone, his speech is the most beloved thing to you. Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, If someone wants to know whether he loves Allah, then let him consider his relationship with the Qur'an. For whosoever loves the Qur'an indeed loves Allah. Arwan al-Ba'rati rahimahullah ta'ala said, Loving Allah is loving the Qur'an, and loving the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is acting upon his sunnah. So those are the ways in which we exhibit love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah outlined for us, that it is loving the Qur'an. So you have to ask yourself, do you, do you read the Qur'an? Do you contemplate the Qur'an? Do you try to learn the tafsir and explanation of the Qur'an? And do you try to implement the Qur'an in your life? This is going to be the test, ayu al habba, to be able to determine what your relationship is with your Lord. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to increase our relationship with Him and forgive us of our many sins and shortcomings. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.